before the Lord and worship Him. He desires worship tonight. Somebody worship Him. Church, let us bow before the Lord. Bow and worship Him. We bow before you at all. We bow before you at all. We worship you, Jehovah. Bow before the throne. We join the 24 elders in heaven. We worship you today. We worship your holy name. We lift this name. We exalt this name. The name which is above every other name. We worship you, God. We bless your name. One more time, bow before your throne. Worship your feet. Oh, yes. Bow before your throne. about this God he deserves worship you have a right to worship him no power of intimidation no threat of the devil no amount of trouble can enter you from worshiping the Lord Lift up your hands and tell him how great he is. I bow before your presence, Lord. I worship you. Don't be stopped by problems. Don't be stopped by challenges. You have a right to worship him. No pain can stop you from worshiping the Lord. Don't be stopped by debts. Don't be stopped by delays. You can worship Him today despite the challenges. Despite the problems, despite the threats, you can worship him. Somebody worship him. He is a mighty God. He is a great God. The one who changes not. Father, we bow before your throne. We worship you at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Father, we honor you. Somebody surrender to him. He can only minister to you. If you release yourself to him. Somebody release yourself. Receive a fresh oil. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we honor you. Lift up your hands to heaven. Father in Jesus name We thank you for the service We bow before your presence 
and worship you. We commit the remaining part of the service to you. The session of the word minister to us. Heal the sick. Deliver the bound. Let your word do miracles. Opening various doors. And everything that looks impossible. We declare a possibility. In the name of Jesus. Receive glory and honor. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Asante. We can take our seats. Naweza kuketi. Appreciate the worship team. Wapongeze kundi cha kuambudu. Amen. Amen. We sometimes send a topic. E wakati mgini tunatuma ujua ya kichu wa mamada. E today is only communion. Na leo ni meza ya buwana. But before we do that. I want to give a teaching concerning the theme of this month. So the topic is operating under the grace of fresh oil. I said on Sunday some fresh oil has been released in the church yours is to receive and operate under that grace Psalm 92 verse 10 we can start with KJV and God is going to bless us Psalm 92 verse 10 Zaburi tisaina mbili na msairi wa kumi. But my horn shalt thou exhort like the horn of a unicorn. Bali pembe yangu umeinua kama pembe ya nyati. Ya nyati, unicorn nyati. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Nitapakwa mafuta mabichi. May the Lord enable you. Wanamungu akuezeshe. To receive that anointing. Kupokea mafuta hayo. That one of fresh oil. Yale ambao niyo ni mafuta mabichi. From this moment. Kutoka wakati huu. You shall operate. Utafanya kazi. Not in the hoard oil. Sio katika mafuta ya kale. But in the new oil. Lakini kwenye mafuta mabichi ama mapia Receive it in the name of Jesus Yapokeni katika jina la Yesu When they were making this oil Walipokuwa wanatengeneza mafuta haya They used olive oil Walitumia mafuta ya mzeituni Ah, you are informed my brother in Kiswaili Thank you They also used mir Tena pia walitumia Don't worry they went ahead to use calamus, cinnamon, and cassia. Now when this was put together, some nice oil with a perfume of cinnamon was produced. Mafuta yanayo manukato kutoka cinnamon and it was fresh. If you got it before it was contaminated. With a nice fragrance. It was taken as vapor. The new oil, the fresh oil attracts some special vapor. Yale mafuta mapia, yale mafuta mabichi, yanafutia aina ya kibali. This month we are not talking about the hoard oil. Katika mwezi huu basi ya tuongei kuhusu yale mafuta ambayo ya mezeka. We are talking about the fresh oil. Tunaongea kuhusu mafuta yale mapia mabichi. May the Lord anoint you with that oil. Wana mungu wa kupake hayo mafuta. David said he anoints my head with oil. 
Daudi anasema ya kwamba anapaka kichwa changu mafuta. May the Lord anoint you. Bwana Mungu akupake mafuta. To anoint is to smear on. E, to smear into. E, kuotiliwa makupakwa ni kuchukua mafuta na chukuliwa unapakwa. Yeah, it is applied on you. Zanatumiwa juu yako. The only other option is for it to be poured on you. Jia ile nyingine ni kumwagwa juu yako. Two ways. Jia mbili. It is smeared on you yanachukuliwa yanapakwa juu yako oh it is poured on you ama yanamiminizwa juu yako when they were anointing the priests walipokuwa wanapaka makuani mafuta they took the horn walichukua e, ule uh, pembe and they poured it on their heads na wanamwaga mafuta juu ya kichwa chake it went down through the beard hata yanapita kupitia kwa kidefu then to the mantle hata kupitia kwa mvazi and to the feet hata kufikia miguu that is how Aaron was anointed as a priest hivyo ndivyo Aaroni alitiwa mafuta kama kuhani so we have no other option kwa hivyo hatuna njia nyingine of drinking the oil za kupata kunywa yale mafuta don't be given oil by somebody to drink usipewe mafuta na mtu uh, ya kunywa anointing is only two things upako ni vitu viwili you smear it on somebody unayapaka juu ya mtu and then you pour it on them ama labda unayamiminiza unamwagia the priest alone yule kuhani peke yake was supposed to anoint himself ilimbidi yeye ajipake mafuta mwenyewe but, but he was anointing the others lakini alikuwa anawapaka mafuta wale wengine because the protocol could not allow another person to anoint a priest kwa sababu utaratibu haukuruhusu mtu mwingine aweze kumpaka kuani mafuta the fresh oil represents the holy spirit mafuta mabichi yana yanasimama ale paro mtakatifu the first time i was filled by the holy spirit was in the year 1989 around august e ile mara ya kwanza ya kujawa na roho mtakatifu ilikuwa ni mwaka 1989 mwendo wa saa 8 imagine mwezi wa 8 imagine 1999 no 1989 hebu fikiria mwaka wa 89 i can't walk in that oil siwezi nikatembea chini hayo mafuta today early in the morning when i was praying i told god Leo hii asubuhi nilipokuwa naomba nikamwambia Mungu I need a fresh oil every day. Nahitaji mafuta mapya kila siku. May the Lord give you fresh oil. Bwana Mungu akupatie mafuta mabichi. Not the one of yesterday. Sio yale ya jana. Not when we began the church. Sio ule wakati tulianza kanisa. Not when I prayed for you and you were filled by the Holy Spirit. Sio ule wakati nikuombea na ukajazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. May you receive a fresh oil. Wewe ukapate mafuta mabichi. The oil will strengthen you for service. Mafuta yatakutia nguvu kwa utumishi. Look at amplified 92:10. Angalia amplified mstari wa 9 na 10. 92 verse verse 10. 92 mstari wa 10. The Bible says uh, uh, but my own emblem of excessive excessive strength and stately grace uh, there is a version which talks about anointed with fresh oil for service that i i thought it was amplified but there is a version i read which talks about being anointed for service na ina biblia ambayo nilikuwa nasoma inaongea kuhusu kupakwa mafuta kwa sababu ya utumishi so you are receiving this anointing to serve him in the year 2022 na hivyo basi unapokea haya mafuta ili ukamtumikie mwaka wa 22 some of you the lord is going to use you in a great way wengine wenu mungu atawatumia kwa njia kuu you will perform miracles wewe utatenda miujiza amen amen when you receive this oil ukipokea haya mafuta you shall perform miracles wewe utatenda miujiza listen to this sikiliza hii i want you to cut this ningependa uchukue hii the time this scripture is being written 
wakati ule huu mstari unaandikwa the children of israel are going through a, tra, a transition wana wa israeli wanapitia katika hali ya mabandiliko they were in a particular state of suffering walikuwa katika hali fulani ya mateso this is very important sasa hii ni muhimu sana they had suffered under their enemies walikuwa wameteseka chini ya maadui zao for them to shift from suffering to a new level of freedom they needed fresh oil na hili wao watoke wahame kutoka kwa eneo la mateso waingie katika maeneo mengine mapya walihitaji mafuta mabichi i hope the media team are writing our notes fikiria wana media wanaandika zale maneno i don't require that display i want now that not to be put there sasa nataka hiyo andiko liandikwe pale it was a time of transition ulikuwa ni wakati wa uhamisho transiting from suffering into a new level of freedom kubanlishwa kutoka kiwango cha mateso kuingizwa kiwango kipya they needed a certain substance to shift them from there walihitaji kitu fulani ili waweze kuhamishwa huko the tool for shifting was that fresh oil chombo cha uhamisho basi kilikuwa ni hayo mafuta mabichi listen to me somebody nisikilizeni mtu you have been in a particular state for a long time umekuwa katika hali fulani kwa wakati mrefu and you have been crying to god na umekuwa ukimlilia mungu god i need a shift mungu nahitaji kuhamishwa i need a difference nahitaji mabandiliko the fresh oil is going to be a catalyst mafuta mabichi yatakuwa ndiyo kichochezi as you receive this oil unapopokea haya mafuta you are going to be catalyzed to your new shift wewe utaharakishwa uingie katika ule kuhamishwa kupya i wish i got a witness haiti ningalipata shahidi you shall be shifted wewe, by this fresh oil wewe utahamishwa na haya mafuta mabichi may the oil shift your family na haya mafuta yahamishe familia yako may the oil shift your wealth mafuta yahamishe utajiri wako may the health shift your health mafuta yahamishe afya yako in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana i see a shift coming in the church naona uhamisho ukija katika kanisa as the fresh oil comes upon us kama mafuta mabishi yakija juu yetu even this church is going to receive a shift hata kanisa hili litapata uhamisho can you take 10 seconds uchukue sekunde 10 and plead for fresh oil na uitishe mafuta mabichi father we don't want the hold oil wana hatuhitaji mafuta zote tunahitaji mafuta mapya let the women receive the new oil sababisha wanawake wapokee mafuta mabichi let the men receive the new oil fanyisha wazee wapokee mafuta mabichi let the young people receive the new oil wazee wanarika wapokee mafuta mabichi we are pleading a new oil tunahitisha mafuta mabichi a fresh oil of our families mafuta mabichi kwa familia zetu a fresh oil in our places of work futa mabichi mahali ambapo tunafanya kazi don't keep quiet pray usinyamaze omba we speak a fresh oil tunaongea mafuta mabichi it is going to shift you zatakuhamisha it is going to change your state zatabanilisha hali yako in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana receive that oil pokeni hayo mafuta this morning in the name of the father asubuhi leo kwa jina la baba that of the son ile la mwana and that of the holy spirit ile roho mtakatifu somebody say Amen. Tusema amina. And give the Lord a hand clap. Na upigie Bwana makofi. You, you cannot just shift. Unajua hauwezi tu ukahama. You need a catalyst. Unahitaji kichochezi. The catalyst is the fresh oil. Na kichochezi ni mafuta mabichi. First Samuel 16:13. Samueli wa kwanza sura ya 16 mstari wa 13. Look at the shift that took place Dalia ule uhamisho ambao ulifanyika The Bible says Biblia inasema Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers and the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward So Samuel arose and went to Rama I have 
interest in this statement. After the anointing, the spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day forward. It brought a shift. The anointing, the Holy Spirit brought a shift in his life. Receive that shift. Look at this. His brothers are there. They are watching. In the midst of his brothers. Nothing happened to them. But to the person who was anointed. The spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day. He went ahead and told the lion. He went ahead and told the bear. He went ahead and killed Goliath. Because of that anointing. When you have this oil. People may not see it. But something works from within you. And you cause a change. What was Samuel doing before? Samuel yalikuwa nafanya nini hapo awali? He was in another dispensation. Alikuwa katika e, wakati mwingine. Look at verse 1 of chapter 16. Angalia mstari wa kwanza sura hiyo ya 16. That is where now Samuel was. Sasa hapo ndipo Samuel alikuwa. Moses look at this. Samuel was somewhere. E, e, Moses tazama hii Samuel alikuwa mahali. Until God asked him. Paka Mungu akamuuliza, "How long will you mourn for Saul?" He was in a state of mourning. Because Saul was a disaster. During his tenure before he died. Israel was doing badly. Until the Lord talked to him. Since I have rejected him as a king over Israel. He was taught to fill his own with oil. And be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be a king. Kamuangeza ijaze pembe yako mafuta uwende na mi intakupeleka kwa yese bedilehemu bedilehemu maana ni mejipatia mfalme katika wanawe. He wasted his time mourning. Aliaribu wakati wake haki uzunika. But God had a new thing. Lakine mungu alikuwa na jambo jipia. By the power of the oil. Since David was anointed, there was a shift. I speak a shift over your life, over your family, over your career, over your business. I declare a shift because of the fresh oil in the mighty name of the Lord. Prophetically, you shall be established when you receive this oil. The oil had a test the test brought a difference. Numbers 11, 8. Amen. I just want KJV. This is what they did with the manna. Hivi ndivyo walifo walifanya na huyo mtu. Mana, mana. Mana, huh? There is a food called mana from heaven. E, kuna kile chakula mbacho kinaitwa mana cha kutoka mbinguni. The people went about and gathered mana and grounded it in mills or beat it in a mortar and baked it in pans and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was the taste of fresh oil. Watu wakazunguka zunguka na kuikusanya ile mana kisha wakaisaga kwa mawe ya kusagia au kuituanga katika vinu kisha wakaitokosa nyu, eh, nyunguni na kuandaa mikate 
na tamu yake ilikuwa kama tamu ya mafuta mapya amen amen when you receive the fresh oil ukipokea mafuta mabichi you have a new test unayo tamu jipya before your people mbele za watu wako before your enemy mbele za adui yako may your test change na ladha yako ibandike amen amen and i destroy every bad test in your life na ninaharibu kila eh, eh, ladha ambayo ni mbaya katika maisha yako have you ever seen people being rejected for no good reason na wewe una watu wakataliwa kwa sababu ya kukosa eh, sababu nzuri even a city can reject somebody hata mji unaweza kumkataa mtu you go to a city and you are rejected unaenda katika mji na unakataliwa the thing narrows on your test hicho kitu kinajiingiza katika ile ladha yako you go for an interview and you are rejected unaenda katika eh, kuulizwa maswali ya kazi na unakataliwa the thing narrows on a test hicho kitu kinaenda kuingia katika ladha yako i was talking to a young man some years back nilikuwa naongea na kijana mwingine miaka kadhaa iliyopita he told me pastor pray for me i want to get married akaniambia mtungaji niombe nataka kuoa and i asked him na nikamuuliza how has been your history sasa historia yako imekuwa namna gani that was sometimes some years back Huli kuwa kati mwingine miaka kadhaa iliyopita. He told me I have started many relationships. Akaniambia nimeanzisha mahusiano ya ndoa mengi. But when we start and we proceed. Lakini tukianza tu na kuendelea. We lose test for one another. Tunapoteza ile ladha ya moja na yule mwingine. Is it test or mvuto? Ni mvuto. Yeah, you know such a thing. E, ule we, upendo wa moja na mwingine. We are no longer pulled to one another atu atu vutiwi tena na yule mwingine i had to destroy the spirit of bad test ingarimu ni haribu huyo roho wa hiyo ladha mbaya and i release some oil actually i took physical oil and i poured it on him nikachukua mafuta na nikamwagilia today he is happily married leo hii yuko na furaha katika ndoa a fresh oil mafuta mabichi can bring a new test in your life yanaweza kuleta utamu ndani ya maisha yako in the last days there is a spirit of rejection katika siku za mwisho kuna roho wa kukataliwa including rejection for politicians without a good reason pamoja na kukataliwa kwa wanasiasa pasipo na sababu nzuri may you have a new test in your family wewe ukawe na utamu katika familia yako in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana and those who disappeared in your life we are commanding them to come back because of fresh oil wale ambao walitoroka katika maisha yako tunawaamuru warudi tena kwa sababu ya mafuta mabichi can you open your mouth and soak yourself in fresh oil wewe ufungue kinywa chako na ujitumbukize katika mafuta mabichi i soak my life ninajikoleza i soak my entire body najikoleza mwili wangu wote i enter into the pool of fresh oil ninaingia katika kidimu cha mafuta mabichi i soak my family ninakoleza familia yangu i soak my my children ninatumbukiza watoto wangu i soak my wife ninatumbukiza mke wangu somebody soak your husband into it mtu tumbukiza mke wako katika hayo mafuta soak your property in oil he tumbukiza mali yako katika in mafuta in the name of the lord katika jina kuu la bwana we release a fresh oil tunaachilia mafuta over mafuta. this tabernacle in the mighty name of the Lord over these instruments we are speaking a fresh oil over this choir in the name of Jesus over this altar no sorcerer can touch an anointed person no witchcraft can interfere with an anointed family uchawi unaweza kuadhiri familia ambayo imepakwa mafuta today i release fresh oil leo hii naachilia mafuta mabichi over your life and your family juu ya maisha yako na familia yako in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu i speak freshness ninaongea upya rabaka talalaba laba i speak 
freshness in the name of Jesus and a shift from the Lord to the new by the power of fresh oil. This I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout Amen. Now operate at that level and your life shall be different. These are matters of faith. I never knew whether I would make such a prayer. I have just said, Lord, I want to soak myself in a pool of fresh oil. So that I'm oil all over. Wherever I go, it is oil. Amen. Amen. Literally, the, the the, the shepherd of Israel every morning they will take the male sheep and they put oil they smear oil on their head because during the day the sheep would fight but if a ship, if two male ship met and they were fighting. Unfortunately, the city children may never have seen a ship fighting. See, the city children. Because uh, the ship would go back. I was a serious shepherd long time ago. And we celebrated when one went back, another one went back, and they came running to eat one another on the head. There was a serious force until you hear a sound. But if the heads were anointed, there will be no injury. They will eat one another and the heads will slip over one another. Because of the oil. My head is anointed with oil. No amount of battle can kill me. I will sleep over them because of the anointing. Somebody say amen. That is the importance of anointing your head. May there be a fresh oil over your head. Any enemy coming your way, you will sleep over them. And you will not feel anything. Oil in the month of January. Oil in the month of February. In March there will be oil. In April there will be oil. In May there will be oil. Hallelujah. In any meeting there will be oil. In June there will be oil. I am not wasting your time. In July there will be oil. This is prophetic. In August there will be enough oil. In September there will be oil. September Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In October there will be oil. Glory to God. In November there will be oil. November in December there will be oil. The entire year will be full of oil. No amount of battle shall hit you. No amount of failure shall pursue you. No amount of witchcraft shall deal with you. You shall be anointed the entire year. In the name of the Father, third of the Son, third of the Holy Ghost, and everybody say. Hallelujah. Say, let's Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
hallelujah Amen. the entire year full of oil not only oil but fresh oil may it work for you in the mighty name of the Lord other people will suffer in battle they will suffer in, suffer in sicknesses but because your head is anointed no enemy shall destroy you no enemy shall destroy your business you shall not die in battle because of the fresh oil in CCI Sultan Amod there is fresh oil emanating from this altar we are releasing it over your life I receive the horn of oil and the with this fresh oil I release it over your life receive it by faith receive it by faith receive it by faith spirit of sorcery what can you do to an anointed woman spirit of failure what can you do to an anointed man spirit of fight what can you do to an anointed woman we receive our oil in the mighty name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the oil. Thank you for the oil of joy. Thank you for the garment of praise. The Lord is clothing us with oil. I can feel it in the spirit. Nothing shall overcome you. Nothing shall defeat your family. It is our year of victory. As we resound our vision. Father, anoint everybody here. Fill them with oil. Every morning with oil. Every noon time with oil. Every evening with oil. Nothing bad shall touch you. Because you are anointed. The failures of yesteryear and the failures of the previous years they shall not follow you. You are simply received receiving the oil. The oil to take you to another level. The oil to shift you to your destiny. May this oil carry you in 2022. May this oil carry you in 2023. May this oil carry you in 2024. May this oil carry you in 2025. May this oil carry you in 2026. May this oil carry you in 2027. May this oil carry you in 2028. May this oil carry you in 2029. May this oil carry you in 2030. May this oil carry you beyond 2030. Some oil has been released. Receive that oil. Don't wait for a physical hell. Receive the oil. Receive the oil. Joy is coming over your life. Joy is coming over your life. Renewal is coming over your life. Several people are getting healed. Several families are getting delivered because of this oil. Even if you are online, things are happening in your life. Receive that oil. Everybody associated with the church, they are receiving their oil. Let us call this oil. It is a fresh oil. It is a nice fragrance. Lord, anoint your people. Anoint us afresh. Anoint us afresh. We need a fresh oil to do the battles of 2022. We need a fresh oil to do business in 2022. We need a fresh oil to do ministry in 2022. Lord, please don't leave us alone. Please, God, don't leave us alone. Lord, 
we need the oil. Don't leave that mama alone. Don't leave that young man alone. Don't leave our children alone. We need some oil. Fresh oil. Over every family. Fresh oil. Over every child. Fresh oil. In our families. The oil is going to preserve us. Preservation oil. Preservation oil. Preservation oil. May your life be preserved. In the year 2022. I speak preservation. From the spirit of death. From the spirit of premature death. I speak preservation. By the power of this oil. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness in your body is getting healed because of this oil. Somebody call upon the name of the Lord. Release yourself fully to the oil. To the oil. Release yourself. Oh, thank you, Rabo shakala laba, ila bakala bazia, rabo kanda bazia. I feel the spirit of the Lord leading me to command every spirit of stagnation in the mighty name of the Lord. Some people in the house have stagnated for a long time. Stop mourning anymore. Take now the horn of oil which is coming over you. And from this day forward there shall be a shift, a mighty shift in your life. No power of stagnation is permitted, is permitted to intimidate you and your family. No power of fear is supposed to take over over your life. You are free today in the mighty name of the Lord. Some of you have operated and curses. The oil breaks every curse. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I release liberty. I release liberty over your lives where there is oppression. We declare liberty in the name of Jesus. You are free and free indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the freedom. Somebody thank him. Somebody thank him. A shift has taken place. A new level has come over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. This I pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everybody say Amen. As you celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Something has happened. Take your seat. Naketi. Something has happened. Amen. Amen. A new shift has taken place. I won't teach this message all of it. How to tap into fresh oil. I will do one point. And in that one point, I give you three sub-points. The other two can come later. Number one, we receive fresh oil through intimacy with God. James 4.8 Intimacy with God. The Bible says, Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you. 
This closeness is being intimate with him. Huu karibu ni kuwa na urafiki wa ndani na yeye. For you to tap this fresh oil. Wako ili upate haya mafuta mabichi. You need a close relationship with God. Unahitaji uhusiano wa karibu sana na Mungu. This kind of relationship can only be understood by a couple. Hii haina ya uhusiano inaweza tu kueleweka kwa watu ambao wameoana. The closeness is of that nature. Huu karibu ni wa aina hiyo. Where they become one. Pale ambapo wanafanyika kitu kimoja. For you to tap this oil you need to be one with God. E, kwako ili upate ya mafuta mabichi unasaili kuwa e, kitu kimoja na Mungu. I'm sorry to say this. Samahani kwa kusema hivi. That people can go for oil, oil physical oil anywhere. They can even go to Nigeria to receive physical oil. Ya kwamba watu hata wanaweza kwenda kusafiri kwenda kule Nigeria kupokea mafuta tu ya kihalisi ya kawaida. Oil is also sold in in Israel. E, vile vile mafuta yanauzwa kule Israeli. I brought some here when I went there. Nialeta mengine hapa nilipokwenda huko. But it is not where the oil comes from. Lakini sio kuhusu pale mafuta hayo yametoka. The thing is beyond physical bottle of oil. Ili jambo liko zaidi ya ile chupa tu alisia ya mafuta. When you draw near to God, he draws near you and you begin to tap the oil, the fresh oil. Ukimkaribia Mungu naye anakukaribia na basi pale naanza kupokea yale mafuta mabichi. How does this one happen? Sasa hii sasa inatendeka namna gani? Number 1A ya kwanza through worship kupitia kuabudu proclaiming his greatness e, kutangaza ukuu wake talking about how great he is kuongea vile alivyo mkuu telling him who he is kumwambia yeye vile alivyo serving him in worship kumtumikia katika kumwabudu worship is a key thing e, kuabudu ni jambo la muhimu sana so, number 1a is worship kwa hivyo pointi ya A katika hiyo pointi moja ni kuabudu. Proverbs 23 eh, a verse in 22:3 KJV he inhabits in the praises of Israel. Methali 22 mstari wa 3 bila inasema kwamba yeye anadumu katika sifa za watu wake. Just such the verse I think I misquoted. Tafuta huo mstari mahali unapatikana. He in, in the praises of Israel. Yeye ukaa uishi katika sifa za watu wake Israeli. When you are a worshiper, unapofanyika muabudu, the Lord dwells with you. Bwana Mungu anaishi pamoja nawe. When he dwells in you, anapoishi ndani yako, you tap. Wewe unapokea that fresh oil. E hayo mafuta mabichi. I want to encourage the church. Nataka kutia kanisa moyo. Please come to church early. Tafadhali kujeni kanisani mapema. And this that minutes of praise and worship. Na hizi dakika 30 sifa na kuabudu. Be present to worship him. Wewe uwepo ili umwabudu. Come every Friday. E kuja hapa Ijumaa. And worship the Lord. Na umwabudu Bwana. I still need that verse. Ningali nataka huu mstari. Somebody can search it. Mtu anaweza kutafuta. He dwells in the midst of his praises. Yeye hukaa katika sifa za watu wake. Number 1B E, ile pointi ya ba katika constant ya communication yale mawasiliano yasiyo katika first Thessalonians 5:17 wa Thessalonica wa kwanza 5 mstari wa 17 when you are intimate with somebody you communicate ukiwa na uhusiano wa karibu sana na mtu mnawasiliana so pray without ceasing kwa hivyo mbeni pasipo na kuacha you communicate mnawasiliana hallelujah amen so prayer listening to him and hearing him in prayer that is constant communication basi kuomba na kumsikiliza kila wakati hiyo ni mawasiliano naye kila siku number 1c e, ile ya tatu katika hiyo pointi ya kwanza live right with him wewe ukaishi e, na haki na yeye there is need for righteousness e, kuna itaji la kukaa maisha matakatifu which leads to holiness Mbaya naongoza katika haki and this one calls for consistent relationship na hii inaita inaitisha ule uhusiano ama uhusiano wa karibu sana when you are close to somebody ukiwa na ukaribu na mtu i hope all of you have that experience na dhani kila mtu yuko na hiyo tajriba you are close to somebody 
Wewe uko karibu sana na mtu. The moment you are not right with them. Ule wakati ambapo amna um, usawa na yeye. You feel so bad. Unahisi vibaya sana. Faith have you experienced that? Hivi mapatano na hiyo. Don't think that Joseph is an angel. Usifikirie kwamba Joseph ni malaika. Several times they will differ. Mara nyingi wata hawatakuwa na ma kusikizana unaongopa nini watakosana kwani yeah. unaongopa nini wewe <laughs> you want to, you want to coach sugar watakosana yeah. so what what we are saying when they are seba. not in right relationship wakiwa hawasikizani the gentleman will take his motorbike huyo jamaa atachukua ile pikipiki yake and is as he is climbing the mountains of beletu he has no peace na akiwa anavuka ile milima ya kule mbele tu hatakuwa na amani until he says honey i'm sorry mpaka amwite hani na samahani he goes into a sea of peace anaingia katika bahari ya amani that is how serious our relationship with god is hivyo ndivyo uhusiano wetu ni wa muhimu na mungu if it is not right there is a big problem kama sio mzuri basi kuna shida kubwa and you can feel the kind of guilty conscience you are carrying na unaweza kuhisi ile dhamiri ambayo unabeba it is never easy hakika huwa si rahisi i encourage somebody in this house natia moyo mtu katika nyumba hii to live right with god akae na usawa na mungu stand on your two feet basi simama those who are fan join us in this prayer wale ambao mko mbali ungane nasi katika maombi we have already called fresh oil tayari tumeitia mafuta mabichi i just want to pray for you sasa nataka kuombea then i go to the holy communion alafu tuingie katika meza ya bwana so then deacons can be making arrangements kwa hivyo mashamanzi mwasaidi sasa kuua mtafanya and the worship team can be here in front na kikundi cha ibada mnaweza kuwa hapa mbele thank you jesus asante yesu oh to jesus i surrender if it is possible yote kwa yesu najiachilia kama inawezekana you surrender everything to him uachilie kile kitu kwake he takes over in your life anachukulia usukani katika and maisha yako sing that song na unapoimba huo wimbo you shall hear a fresh oil coming upon your life utahisi mafuta mabichi yakija juu ya maisha and a new commitment na kujitolea pray that point number one may become a reality omba ili point ya kwanza ikawe halisi that you shall be close to god ya kwamba ukawe na uhusiano wa karibu na mungu oh to jesus oh to jesus lift up your hands the song is on the wall Mimi mikono na wimbo katika ukuta Again, first stanza. 
Look at this. I will ever love and trust him. That is being intimate with God. In his presence, daily life. That is how we tap into the oil. Let us do that stanza again and we commit ourselves to God. One, two, three starts. Oh, to Jesus, I It's not Ask for that intimacy with him. Tell him you shall love him. I will love you, God. Don't shy off. Love God. Even if you have been living a bad life. Today, love him. Be closer to him. Draw close to him. He will draw closer to you. I speak a new relationship A new relationship with the Father I declare it today In the mighty name of Jesus Be closer to him May you tap into the oil The fresh oil The anointing oil As you draw closer to him Worship him. Muabudu. Communicate to him. Zungumzanae. Make peace with him. Fanya amani nae. Make righteousness. Fanya utakatifu. Be your portion. Righteousness. Utakatifu. Becomes your portion. Unafanyika semu yako. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Receive that intimate relationship. Pokea uosiano wa karibu. As you receive the whole. Unapopokea mafuta. Now in the name of the Father. Sasa kwa jina la Yesu. That of the Son. Lila Mwana. That of the Holy Spirit. Naro mtakatifu. And everybody say Amen. Na kila mtu sema Amina. Give the Lord a hand clap. Tugia Yesu makufu. Amen. Uh, we never got that verse right. Let me get it for you. Oh, it was got. Eh? Yeah, it was 22, 23. That he inhabits the praises of Israel. He stays where worship is, where praises are. When you worship him properly. When you worship him. And you serve him. And you lift him in your life. He is going to inhabit where you are. The Holy Communion. We changed it from the last. The last month. The last day of the month to the new month, the first day. Yeah, the first Sunday. We wanted to be now uh, helping us in the theme as we take the Holy Communion. We are taking the Holy Communion for fresh oil. 
Napochukua hii meza ya Bwana basi naichukua hii meza kwa sababu ya mafuta mapya ya Bwana. May the Lord help you. Bwana Mungu akusaidie. To tap into this oil. Ukapate hayo mafuta. That's Psalm 92 verse 12. Zaburi ya 92 mstari wa 12. The righteous will K, K, uh, NIV. NIV. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. Mwenye haki atafanikiwa ama atanawiri kama mtu. They will grow like the cedar of Lebanon. Watakuwa kama mwerezi wa Lebanon. May that be your portion in Jesus name. Hiyo ikawe sehemu yako kwa jina la Yesu. When this all comes. Wakati ya mafuta yamekuja. The distance between verse 10 and verse 12. You will flourish in verse 12 and grow like the cedar of Lebanon. Na utakuwa kama mwelezi wa Lebanon. Verse 13. Sari wa 13. By the power of this holy communion. Kwa nguvu za hii meza ya Bwana. You will be planted in the house of the Lord. Wewe utapandwa katika nyumba ya Bwana. I want you to believe it. Ningependa uiamini. The demons which take people out of the house. Zale mapepo ambayo wanafukuza watu kutoka kwa nyumba. That they come late. Sakwamba wanakuja kwa mechilewa. They don't enjoy worship. Hata wafrai kwa bubu. They come as a formality. Wanakuja kama mazwea. We put them and our feet and we minasi. declare a planting in the house of the Lord you shall enjoy meetings because of the whole you will flourish in the court of our God somebody say amen and lastly verse 14 when the oil comes they will still bear fruit in old age. Watazama tunda hadi wakati wa uze. I can't wait for the part B. They will stay fresh. Watajau tomvu. And the green. Watakuwa na ubichi. May this be your portion. In the mighty name of the Lord. Kwa jina kula buwana.